In FeatureCam 2015 R2, the toolpath output options are now available in 2.5D, NT and Vortex toolpaths, just as they are for 3-axis milling. Allowing this improves the NC code by providing control over point filtering and arc fitting, letting you tailor the point output for better machine controller compatibility. In addition to this, the distribution of points can now also be previewed to verify the desired output. Now in the case of this part, what I have is three different pockets and I've got three different uh, strategy approaches to machine those. Now the first one, if I go to the strategy, uses a spiral type step over. So this is using the traditional technology. And if I go to the rough, into the milling tab, you'll notice we do not have the output options for these toolpath types. However, if I look at the other two, so we've got the NT toolpath type. So again, into the step over, you can see we've got NT spiral. If I go to the rough area, into the milling tab, you can see we get the output options button. If I select that, you can see we get the distribution points available and the different options that we'd expect to see. Likewise, if I go to a vortex type toolpath, again, you can see here, step over is set to vortex. If we go to the rough area into milling, you can see the output options available to me there as well. So in this case, if I just zoom in, just so we can see this a bit clearer, you can see I've got my pocket. As soon as I select the output options, you can see at the moment I've got the default set to be filter linear moves. If I say preview, you can see the distribution of points in that pocket like so. If I was to, I'm just going to cancel that form. Say OK, let's just turn off these two for the time being. Just have a quick look at the NC code. So there's my toolpath. Go to the results window into the NC code page. And if I scroll down, once we get past that initial ramp move, you can see we get a number G2s and G3s appearing throughout the toolpath. If I was to search for this, so you can see G2s and G3s, you can see there are plenty of arcs throughout the toolpath form. So what we want to do is we want to change this. In this case I'm using a Siemens controller, so I want to I want to remove those arcs and just swap these for nicely distributed points. So I'm just going to stop the simulation. I'm going to go back into that feature. And in this case we're going to go back into the rough, into the milling, into the output options. And in this case I'm going to make some changes to this. So I'm going to switch to redistribute points after filtering linear moves. And I'm going to change the distance between these. I'm going to change the maximum length to be 2 millimeters. I can now go ahead and preview this to give me an idea of what my points look like. So I can see the nicely evenly distributed points throughout my toolpath. Once I'm happy with that, I can say OK, close the form, replay my simulation. So the toolpath itself looks very similar. But if I go to the results area and just have a look at the NC code, we now recalculate the toolpath. And you can see there's no G2s and G3 moves. You can verify this by just doing a quick Control F. See, we have no G3s and no G2s. So we've used the point distribution to change the toolpath type. 